This is wildlife conservationist Owen and we're working on some nuisance wildlife control for nuisance wildlife control LLC MO and Owen's setting himself up a little post set for some raccoons or other animals that have been plaguing the farmer skunks possums the like so Owen's gonna take his time and uh, show us what he's gonna do here Get it out. It's okay, we won't practice editing anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> You'll know what part you want to edit out. <laughs> right? Yeah, I tried to get the... Hey, next time we won't bring the hair tip with us, okay? It just happened, that's what I had. That's the problem, I wish I didn't have them. Here you go. Got it. What happened? How the pot did it just fall in there? No, I was trying to push it down and it just went off. Uh, oh, this is a four springer too. I'm not using my hey, finger to push it down. Can I hold a car? Do we even have to push it down? Push what down this? Yes. Oh, you, no, to use your finger, you gotta flip it over and go like this, but. I tried to do that with the pipe, so I didn't catch it. No, my the finger. pipe will set it off every time. Every time, people, you try to do that, you gotta grab. Flip your lid and grab below and above. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to yep. sit more dirt. Yep, build your trap bed up. That happens to everybody. It's part of the learning experience. We're using some Bridger modified one and three quarters with the night latch built in, which is, can be challenging, especially because these have been in the line for a few weeks. So they've got some crud, some hair build up on them. So that can happen and that will happen.
actually do it good for you. And then we'll use it in a trap set when we're done. I like, I think digging holes all around it actually helps blend in what you're doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of there being one stirred up spot, if you kind of look like something's digging over here. It's looking really good, dude. Remember, it's not a beauty show. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a rocky jumped out on you right on the trap. Uh -huh. Grab it. Where's the center of your trap pan? Right here. Clear it off with that. Don't push down. Just make a circle like something stepped on it. Are you sure that's it? Pretty sure. Okay. Or it's a piece on there. Oh. <laughs> Another way to not get the fingers trapped. Do not take your fingers out. The sides are the right view. See how that wiggle? See how that wiggle? I put it on the sifted sand and came under down. You got it. You need to put some under the ears. You got to tuck it under those ears. See how it's not rocking now? There's gaps under them ears. Okay? Oh, I need some more dirt. There you go. And now we got to put some grass on it. pretty good. Blending that in by stirring it up a little bit. Okay. Get it out here. Oh, mm -hmm. Nothing else. The farmer will think when you did it. <laughs> here you go. Go ahead throw those over there out of the way. And let's put some bait. No, no, no. Not yet. Your camera's sitting there. There you go. Come on back over. Okay. I'll just squeeze some of this on that. Or is it cotton swab I had? Mm -hmm. Probably got swept away. down in the wool hard to squeeze it. There you go. Okay. Cap that, baby. Good job. Anything you want to say? Tell anybody what to do or what not to do. Maybe you forgot to do. Maybe you didn't. No. Be careful. Just try not to catch yourself. It hurts. Bed, bed it properly? Yeah. Make sure it's bedded properly, bud. Okay. That was pretty good to me, dude.